fix white coat syndrome right now. My name is Dr. Story. I've been in practice for over 25 years. I'm going to give you some realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, white coat syndrome is a condition where you normally don't have high blood pressure, but when you show up at a doctor's office, you can get very nervous, you can have anxiety, and all of a sudden your blood pressure goes up, so the nurse takes your blood pressure, they suspect you have blood pre high blood pressure, and then they give you medications for it when you really don't need it during your daily life, and then that blood pressure medication, it lowers it so much artificially that you end up having more problems than you did before you saw the doctor's office. Now, this type of condition, white coat syndrome, is not caused from your diet. It's not caused from lack of exercise. It really is a tension issue. So that is the thing that we're gonna do to focus on so that we can solve this for you. And the real key to knowing if you have white coat syndrome is number one, you have it at the doctor's office, and more commonly, it's the systolic number that actually is high. So watch what we're gonna do and watch till the end because at the end, I'm gonna give you an extra bonus. So here is the fix. You have to remove the tension. If you have the ability in the doctor's office to just sit, in their waiting room and rather than getting tense or nervous because you're waiting for so long actually focus on your breathing make sure your feet are flat on the floor make sure your arms are at your side don't clench your fists like this let them relax and what you can do is you can take deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth just like this and just do that in the waiting room. When they call your name and you go into the doctor's office or you go into the exam room and then they have you wait there for even longer, very often you see all their equipment and the tongue depressors and the alcohol and this and that, what ends up happening is you can get even more nervous. So therefore, focus on your breathing again. Now, the second thing that you can do is if they don't allow you to do that, if they rush you into the, the office and the nurse grabs your arm, starts taking the blood pressure uh, measurement right away, and it does end up high, if the systolic number is high, request that you be given about five minutes just to relax. That's an option. There's no one that's gonna say that you're not allowed to do that. So if the nurse takes your blood pressure, it's too high, ask them, hey, can you take it later after the appointment or let me relax first, and then check it very often you'll find the number goes down. The third thing that you can do, and I know this sounds really silly, but it actually does work, is to reduce the tension. Try to smile, force a smile. Smiling actually changes your brain chemistry and it reduces tension because again, this white coat syndrome is a situation where it really is a tension issue. So if you try to force a smile, try to uh, think of things that are happy, you'll find that your tension goes down and thus your blood pressure numbers may go down. Now the fourth and final thing that you could actually do directly in the doctor's office to lower your blood pressure is to realize that doctors are only human. Very often we put doctors on a pedestal and we think there's some godlike deity that's going to uh, bring down the the drug that's going to solve all our problems and that they're super smart and that you're not. The truth of the matter is a doctor is no different in my opinion than a plumber, electrician, or a woodworker. We went to school, we learned a lot of things, we know how to apply them. We cannot fix everything. So if you think of your doctor as just another human who happens to be an expert in their field, um, you may find that it helps you relax rather than considering them so high up on the social status. The other thing to realize is, and, and this is uh, no joke, but you know, what does it take to pass medical school? Well, imagine a doctor passed all his classes with flying colors and got 100% correct on every single test. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Wouldn't everybody like to see that doctor? Well, really, you just need to have a passing score uh, with your test. So imagine seeing a doctor that only knew 71% of all the information he was ever taught. That's why you realize, or you'll find, that some doctors are better than others, some are smarter than others, and some are more on top of things. Because you really, all doctors are not created equal. So realize that if you're seeing a doctor and you realize they're human, 
just like a plumber, just like an electrician. There's great ones and there's not so great ones that don't take things so seriously. And if you don't like the answer your doctor is giving you, you're always free to choose someone else. Now, I'm going to give you a bonus. And if you've been sticking around this long in this video, I appreciate you. Give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It does help me with YouTube. And make a comment down below. Now, this is the bonus. In right here, I'm going to put a link to the special method of breathing that you can watch me do. I will show you how my blood pressure was a little bit high. I did the breathing. You can follow along with me and you'll see how the breathing caused my blood pressure to basically re-equilibrate and become more normal. That's important. So watch that video and click that link. Now this is all for the short run when you have white coat syndrome, but for the long run, if you really want to control your blood pressure for long term, then you're going to need to change your diet. And I'm going to give you right here, this is an extra, another bonus of right here is going to be four drinks that you could use of ingredients that will help lower your blood pressure for the long run.